Hey everybody, it's Scott from Ghost Spring Service, and today I'm going to be talking about dust cap removers. So if you got a camper trailer with a dust cap on them, all of them have it, and you want to grease your bearings, the best way to grease your bearing is to actually remove the dust cap itself. Then you can access the grease fitting, you can fill up your bearings with grease, clean off the excess grease, and then put the cap back on. So this is the cap installer that I made probably close to 10 years ago. You can see it's been hit a few times with a hammer reinstalling the caps and it's been hit a few times with a hammer taking the caps off. But uh, I actually want to turn this into a usable product because I find that there's some light duty ones out there, but there's not like a commercial grade heavy duty buy it once, use it for the rest of your life kind of dust cap remover. So this is the prototype that I made 10 years ago. And I simplified it into just two pieces. I weld it together. They're all plasma cut out, band sawed off. Then I can get them all welded together and uh, have it as a usable product. So yeah, we're gonna be turning these two pieces into a finished product. And it looks nice and clean and it'll last a lifetime. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say. So basically all I'm just gonna do is show you how we manufacture these things. Uh, we get these plasma cut out at a local fab shop. We get these band sawed off at a local fab shop. So really all we have to do is clean them up and weld them. So it makes the process pretty easy for me on my end of things. And then we can turn it into a product and ship it out to you. So we're gonna be making two today. We're gonna to be making one for 5,200 to 6,000 pound. And then here's your size for that one. And we're gonna also be manufacturing a 7,000 pound one, which is for the larger dust cap. I went and made a 3,500 pound dust cap remover a couple of months back and I put a video out for it and I've had people ask me for the other sizes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna produce them all and we're gonna have all three sizes available up on our store at SimcoSpring.com. You can buy them all there. But if you're like a shop or a garage and you wanna get all three, I'm gonna have them in a triple pack as well. So let's get to making them. So one of the most important things for us is accuracy. So what we did was we manufactured a little jig here. We have little bolts here that we can adjust in and out on both sides and set it so it's perfect every time that we go to weld them together. Because there's three different sizes, there's three different settings, and it has to be adjusted every single time that we manufacture these. So we try to do them in batches, so it's a little bit more efficient. But when we're done, we should be able to just load them up, load it up, tack it into place. Jigs will definitely make your life a lot easier. There we go, that's it. Tack together. Now we can go to a rotary welder and weld it together. So what we did is we cut out a spacer to get the height right. So when I clamp it, I have a better access to the weld because if it's deep down in there, these will get in the way. And the nice thing about this one is it actually has like a little rotating clamp here. So boom, it's clamped into place and now I can just weld it. So it's kind of a cool setup. If I'm doing a lot, I can actually hook the welder right up into here and I could just uh, click a button and it'll basically weld for me. But I'm gonna manually weld this one because I'm just doing one of them. There you go. So now that we got it all set up, now we can go and give it a weld. And uh, as it spins around, I'll lay a nice bead on there. Oh. There you go, nice patterned weld on there. Looks really good. So, can't really complain about those results. So basically, yeah, rotary welder is really gonna help you weld these things together. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. 
basically that's pretty much it. We got her welded up. It's now a final product. We can literally just paint it and put it in a box and get it shipped out to you. So we're trying to make them as simple to manufacture as humanly possible. And uh, I think we achieved that. So after a long day of welding, we got them all welded up. Got them all painted. I'm getting ready for them to be shipped out. It's nice making them in bulk quantities like this. So yeah, you can check these out at SimcoSpring.com. And don't forget the greaser bearings, at least a minimum of once a year. And if you uh, do high mileage, then you should do it at least a couple times a year. Uh, manufacturer's recommendation is every 20,000 kilometers or once a year. So make sure you grease your bearings, take care of your trailers, make sure you grease them before you go on long trips. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. Grease is really cheap. Blowing a bearing out in the middle of the highway, in the middle of nowhere, that is a very, very bad day. So take care of yourself, have a good day, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to get your dust cap remover and installer at SimcoSpring.com and uh, have a good night. Take care.